In this video, we're going to have a look at the newton raphson method for solving equations numerically. So, we've got the equation here, y equals x cubed plus x squared minus a half x minus a quarter. And let's say we want to find the roots of this equation. We've got three roots here, here, and here. So what the newton raphson method does, it takes a start point on the curve and then draws a tangent at that point. So let's say our start point is here at minus 0 0.6. Then at that point, we draw a tangent. And we take note of where it hits the x-axis. So our initial guess at what the solution is, was here. So let's call that x0. Then we draw a tangent, and where it hits the axis, that's our next guess, x1. So zoom right in there. So now, at x1, what we're going to do, we're going to again go onto the curve and draw a tangent. So drawing a tangent at that point. There we go. Roughly speaking, I'll do a better tangent than that. There we go. Now we can see that our new guess, x2, where the tangent hits the axis, is even closer to the root. Zoom right in draw a tangent again and we can see that we're getting forever closer to the root so draw a tangent where it crosses the axis is our new guess draw a tangent where it crosses the axis is our new guess and if the newton raphson method works we get closer and closer to this root here by continually drawing tangents so what i'm going to do i'm going to rub those out now that's the basic theory behind the algorithm what we're going to do now is look at how we're actually going to do this method numerically. So let's take our start guess. And I'm not going to be making a number this time. I'm just going to call it xn. Okay. And drawing a tangent at that point. And this is x of n plus 1. So our start point, xn, follow the tangent down, xn plus 1. So let's look at how to mathematically get x of n plus 1. So let's think about, first of all, the, the equation of the tangent. Well, we've got a point on the curve, xn, and f of xn. Where in this case, f of x was our equation. There it is there. f of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus a half x minus a quarter. So we've got that there. And we're going to find the equation of this tangent now. So y minus y1. The y value is f of xn equals the gradient. You know, the gradient, if we differentiate the curve at that point, equals m x minus the x-coordinate, which is xn. And we can see that the point xn plus 1 is where the curve, where the tangent crosses the x-axis. So we can see here xn the tangent crosses the x-axis. Therefore, crosses the x-axis, and then y equals 0. So we let y equal 0. We get 0 minus f of xn equals f dash xn. And now, the x-coordinate we know is x of n plus 1 take xn. And we're trying to find out what this x of n plus 1 is. So we're going to rearrange the equation.
to make x of n plus 1 the subject. Right, so the next step, if we divide everything by f dash xn, so this means that minus f xn over f dash xn equals x n plus 1 minus xn, which then implies, so taking the xn to the other side, we finally get xn plus 1 equals xn take f of xn over f dash of xn. And what that is, that's the newton raphson method that's given in your formula booklet. So what we've just done there, we've derived from first principles the newton raphson method. So whilst you don't need to know the newton raphson method off by heart, what you do need to be able to do is use it from the formula book and potentially, just like we have done here, it's perfectly plausible that we might in an exam ask you to derive it like we just have here. So there is another video linked to this video where we're going to find all three roots of the cubic that we just looked at using the newton raphson method. But for now, for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.